but we're privileged to be sitting in what is the UK's only demo facility for the Steinway Lingdorf Model D system. Uh -huh. um, an incredible system. Um, tell us about the legacy, why it's the Model D and, and something about the system. Obviously, most people have heard of Steinway. It's one of the most recognized brands in the world. Um, it's been, uh, they've been making musical instruments, I think it's about 160 years now. Well over 90% of concert musicians choose a Steinway piano. If they're, if they're playing concert, they insist on a Steinway piano. Green Book, by the way, if you haven't seen Green Book, the movie, check it out. It's, it's even back in the 50s, they're, they're saying the same thing. Musicians um, very often will insist on playing on a Steinway piano because they think it has the, the best tonality. Uh, their sound. From a commercial point of view, um, Starmia have this incredible brand name, incredible recognition. Um, and uh, I'm not going to buy a piano because I can't, well, I can't afford it and I can't play it. <laughs> so they have been approached lots of times by speaker manufacturers to come up with a collaboration to use the Starmia name to, to leverage uh, their audio products. And they, they didn't want to do it because their brand recognition really stands for something. And their criteria was that they wouldn't put their name to an audio system until it could perfectly reproduce their piano. A, a, a piano is it's one, of the most, uh, one of the most difficult instruments to reproduce. Um, and a, uh, a, when a piano is being played, um, if it's being played at a concert venue, it'll be tuned every day. So you can imagine the, um, the hearing of the people who tune these, the, the, these instruments. So um, 15 years ago, Peter Lindorf um, of Lindorf Audio uh, approached Steinway and said, I can do that, I can reproduce your piano. They presented a mock-up, sure it didn't look like this then, but they, they, they presented a mock-up of the system to Steinway and Sons. And, um, the people that tune the pianos and play the pianos um, said it's indistinguishable from the real thing. Um, and they could also tell where the piano was made. So Starmer and Sons pianos are made in Hamburg or New York. And there are subtle tonal variances, apparently. And the people that tune the pianos could say, no, that one's, that one's in New York. Steinway make a range of different pianos um, for different sizes, different applications. And the concert grand is called the Model V. And this was Steinway's first product, Steinway Lindor's first product, called the Model V. And its claim to fame is it can perfectly reproduce a live piano. This piece of music, there's, a, there's a, my little story behind this. Um, yeah, I think I'm pretty good about audio, I know about it. Um, but I know my place, I know the pecking order. Um, I had a client um, several years ago um, that came here and this is his music. So he wrote this piece of music, he played the piano on this, he hired the London Philharmonic Orchestra to record, to play the, 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 the music, he conducted them, he mixed it in the studio. He came here and he heard this um, and he said he's hearing things on this system that he didn't hear in the studio when he was mixing it. That's incredible. So I am an audio guy um, that knows about putting sound in the room. This guy is at a different level. You know, this guy can, it can play, you know, concert piano, but he's a, a mixing engineer as well. Um, and if he is saying he's hearing things on this that he didn't hear in the studio, um, I'm happy. This is, this is why I have the confidence with this. I've had people at the top of the food chain, people that play instruments at a professional level say, yeah, this does it. That's an incredible story. It's a nice story. It is a nice story. <laughs> Guys, if you want to come and have a demo, you've got to come to Gecko Home Cinema, home of the only Model D system available in the UK.